Construction is underway all around Tampa Bay, and FDOT is doing their part to help improve our roadways. From the Howard Franklin Bridge replacement project over Old Tampa Bay, to interchange improvements at Big Bend Road and MLK Boulevard along I-75, projects strive to incorporate safety, technology, and resiliency to provide communities with projects that improve everyday lives. Construction is in full swing as FDOT works to improve commutes and help drivers get to their destinations safely and efficiently. If you're driving through the I-275, I-4 interchange, chances are you've been stuck in congestion or have seen lane diving or a crash take place. Are you ready, Tampa Bay? You may have noticed work taking place within the downtown Tampa interchange or where I-275 and I-4 meet. FDOT has started construction activities to improve safety and operations helping address nearly 1,000 crashes that happen each year. To help improve mobility for the 85,000 daily drivers along southbound I-275, and approximately 30,000 of those drivers that exit to eastbound I-4, roadway improvements include providing a two-lane exit from southbound I-275 to eastbound I-4, and constructing a new bridge to the inside of the interchange that drivers will use to access I-4. Drivers will enter I-4 on the inside or closest to the median. FDOT is also planning to construct an auxiliary lane to the inside of eastbound I-4 from I-275 and make the exit to the Selman Connector two lanes. Drivers heading to Ybor City and East Tampa from southbound I-275 will use the current flyover bridge, then exit at 14th and 15th Streets. If you're heading northbound, you'll use the new exit located just north of Palm Avenue. Drivers will still have access to historic Ebor and 21st and 22nd Streets by using the frontage road, 13th Avenue, that will be widened to two lanes. The new exit location will provide more direct access to places like Hillsborough Community College. The on-ramp from 22nd Street to eastbound I-4 and the exit to 22nd Street from westbound I-4 will remain like they are today. Drivers along westbound I-4 will see improvements too. The current one-lane ramp to northbound I-275 will be widened to two lanes, and drivers will have more time to merge on I-275 with improvements extending to the MLK Boulevard exit. Drivers heading to southbound I-275 will have three lanes on the ramp instead of two, all helping improve operations in the interchange. Along southbound I-275, construction work will shift the mainline I-275 lanes and exits to the west to add shoulders. Don't worry, when construction is complete, drivers will exit to the same locations in downtown Tampa. Improvements will also be completed along local streets and in nearby communities. FDOT has worked with the City of Tampa on improvements to 14th Street that will provide parking, a bike lane, and sidewalks in addition to travel lanes. Underpass improvements will be completed to enhance the experience for pedestrians with improved aesthetics at Palm Avenue, 14th Street, and 15th Street. Connections will be made to the existing trail network by constructing shared use paths on the north and south sides of I-4 and along the east and west sides of I-275. These trails will also provide connectivity to the three new community spaces located in VM Ebor, Historic Ebor, and Tampa Heights. Each space may include a dog park, pickleball courts, water fountains, benches, and shade trees. Along the trail network, fitness stations, gaming tables, and bike repair stations may be added. You may have seen construction on I-275 to the north of the interchange. These improvements are currently adding one general use lane in each direction from the interchange to north of Hillsborough Avenue, and the improvements underway as part of the Downtown Tampa Interchange Project will tie into these new lanes, helping to provide drivers with better commutes and improved safety. In the coming weeks and months, you will see even more construction activity as work continues until the anticipated completion in 2027. As you travel through the area, Remember, there are contractors at work, and it is important to always pay attention in a construction zone as work will take place during both the daytime and nighttime hours. While the contractor does work to limit impacts to the nearby community, to construct the project, heavy machinery will be used, and concrete and asphalt work may produce noise and vibration, and nighttime work may require the use of bright lights. Remember, stay alert and look for advanced warning signs and electronic messaging boards for messages that will be used to assist drivers. And remember, work zone safety is everyone's job. Slow down in work zones to keep you and workers safe. If you want to stay in the know and keep up with construction updates and traffic alerts via email, 
be sure to subscribe on the project webpage or use the QR code shown.